So, uh, in our last video, we were turning on the lock collector, and uh, now it has turned on, and uh, it is prompting us for default credential. So, the default credential is username as a root, and the password is Juniper123. Great. So, now it is asking us to change the password. So, first of all, I will put my existing password, which is Juniper123. Now, I have to enter a new password. Alright. So, we are in. So, what we have done, we have logged into the device and we have reset our password. Uh, make sure you remember this password you will need it in future and uh, when we'll be adding our lock collector and security director and uh, Junos space then we will need the same password over there so remember it so as I said uh, our lock collector has multiple modes the first one is all-in-one node and the second one is distributed node so in case of distributed node we have log receiver and log storage so uh, we can use a combination of them so we can get the better throughput better performance because in case of all in one node uh, or single device used to do the both of this uh, line number two and three stuff which is log receiving and log storage so what i will do i will go ahead and uh, deploy it in all in one node for now i will select one which is all in one node so uh, it is prompting us you have selected all in one node do you want to proceed Yes. So uh, now it is asking whether it is SSD or non SSD. So uh, as we discussed, SSD provide better throughput, better performance. We can get up to 4000 EPS using all in one node with SSD. Whereas in the case of non SSD, we will be getting uh, performance of 3K EPS. So we don't have, EP oh, I have SSD. So I can put yes. Now, so these are the options now we have to configure the first one is configuration of IP address second one is time zone third one is name server the fourth one is NTP the fifth one is email configuration sixth one is update lock collector database password and the last one is quit so uh, lock collector database password will be uh, uh, needed because uh, we'll be putting the same one in the uh, configuration of the security director so uh, we have to reset it and we have to remember it. So I will go ahead and do the configuration of IP first of all. So I have chosen first option. So now it is prompting me to put a IP address on the ETS zero. I'll go ahead and put the IP address over there. So set up ETS zero. It is asking me to configure the IPv4 address on the ETS zero, or we can configure the combination of both of them. So I will go ahead and put IPv4 over there. Configure. ETA zero IP address, so we have to say yes. So now it is asking for putting the IP address over there. One eighty two one sixty eight one dot one. It's just a dummy IP I'm taking. It, it will ask for subnet mask, so I have to put subnet mask. It is dummy subnet. I have to put a gateway. It is also a dummy or gateway address. I'm taking it as a ten. So now it is setting up a network. Now it is generating SSL certificate uh, since uh, Elasticsearch services were not running, so failed. It failed to stop it because there was no S Elasticsearch services. So when they restarted it, now it is starting and it came okay. 
So Elasticsearch instance is up. All right. So the first option is done. Second one is configuration of time zone. I'll go ahead. I will put. All right. It's one. So I will go ahead and I will do Pacific. For this demonstration purpose, I have been showing New Zealand. It's red. We'll go ahead to the most locations. All right, we can go ahead with that. We'll say yes. So, the third option is name server. We need to put the name server, it's important. So for demonstration purpose, I am choosing a dummy name server over here. Yes. So on the first name, on the first location, we need to put the uh, name server. This is the second name server I had to put over here. And when your production deployment, you can have multiple name server, so you can put it. If you need another one, then you can you can configure the third one too. All right, so I will go ahead and uh, now I will configure the NTP. So uh, remember, your NTP should be in the sync with your uh, Juniper devices with your. Genosis space with your security director. So it's important to configure the NTP services and make sure your time zone and NTP servers are matching. This is dummy NTP server IP address. I believe it will try to reach it and uh, if it has failed then it will give us an error all right it has not yeah it has so uh, we'll go ahead exit it the next option is email I don't need um, if you want to change the log collected database password then you can change it otherwise you can quit so I will go ahead I will quit it voila we are good So this is our initial setup for lock collector. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and we can add this lock collector in our Zonosis space. Thanks for watching video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.